Yo, what is up, guys? My name is Chris Bustead, and I run the Takeover Digital Store, where I sell all my editing assets for you to use and become a better solo creator. Anyways, guys, today I'm going to be showing you my exact behind the scenes of editing a short form piece of content. Like, there's most likely not going to be a whole lot of cuts. It's not going to be an exciting video, but you'll be able to follow along with what I do and learn a couple of things. But before hopping into that, I wanna let you guys know that I will be using my Essential Movement Effects Editing Pack for Premiere Pro. And if you don't have that, then I highly recommend going and cop it because it has all of the editing sort of keyframes, effects sort of done for you to where it's just a drag and drop process. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into Premiere Pro. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys literally everything today is gonna be all about sort of the beginner how do you edit short from content talking heads from literally just opening up premiere pro so i'm going to open up premiere pro show you guys my exact sort of process on how i edit um i'll sort of just be commentating everything that i do but for the most part it's really just going to be locked in editing and then you're just telling you exactly what i do so we have premiere pro open right here i'm just going to go ahead and full tab it and i'm going to go ahead and new project for you guys and then project name, talking head real. And then honestly, just gonna save it to my desktop, why not? And then create. So over here, I'm just gonna go ahead, command I. And what that's gonna do is gonna import. And I wanna import this video off of my desktop. Apparently my Premiere Pro didn't like that clip. So we're gonna go ahead and find another one or at least open it from the SSD. Um, so yeah, so we have our clip right here. Now we're just going to go ahead, click this, and then just select this, drag it into our timeline. And you're going to see our timeline's wrong. Now we want to go to sequence, sequence settings. And then instead of this sort of vertical or horizontal format, we're going to change it to vertical. And the way you do that is 1080 by 1920, just like so. And then uh, 30 FPS is what I like to do. Hit OK. And then now we can actually edit the video. So. As you guys can see, it is not positioned correctly, and that's because I shot vertically, and I guess the camera just doesn't read it as vertical, whatever. Um, so the way to fix that is I need to rotate it counterclockwise, so that way. So I do negative 90, then it'll be upright. That is such an ugly frame in my face, bro. <laughs> Golly. And then I would go to scale, and then it's a 4K video, so 1080p is half of 4K, so 50 and then we are good to go. So now we got sort of like the basic stuff going. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the takeover editing pack. And as you guys will see, ones will have audio fix, uh, basic color grade or my LUT, microphone preset, etc. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna add audio fix and LUT at the same time. So I'm gonna hold uh, command or control for windows and select both of these and then I'm going to release it and then I'm going to drag and drop it onto this video. As you can see, the color grade's there um, and the audio fix is here as well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and fix the color grade real quick just because one thing that I really like to do is kind of crush the blacks a tad, just sort of like add more depth. Um, so I go to color wheels, metric color, color wheels, and then I go ahead and affect the shadows right here. So just drag it down a little bit and honestly, I like that. It kind of makes it look more like sharp and more defined. Honestly, it just looks really good to me. And then that's uh, that's good right there. So now we're going to go ahead and do basic cuts. Now, this might be a little bit slow because I am editing off an SSD and it's not really what SSDs are made for, or at least mine, because it's kind of a cheaper one. But we're going to go ahead and make do with what we got. And this is also going inside of my uh, my headsets, so. Wow, that is loud actually. Okay, let me fix this. Um, Premiere Pro, because I can't hear it through my speakers, I'm gonna go ahead and go to audio hardware. Um, let's do output as the MacBook Pro speakers and just hit okay. So now we could hear it on my speaker. You guys may not be able to hear the audio, but essentially I'm just gonna go ahead and do basic cuts and then we'll kind of resume and pick up from there. All right, bet. So we have basic cuts done. So that's essentially the first step. Um, you could technically just throw text on here, call it a day, but that's not what we're gonna go ahead and do. We're just gonna add like some fun graphics and just kind of keep it fun. So um, for the intro, 
So I say I have posted five times a week for the past month. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and just add. So I'm gonna just gonna do a five X, meaning five times, of course. And uh, we're gonna add, we're gonna edit text, Akira. So center it, using these tools, drag up, um, make sure it's centered that way as well. So we'll do posted. up kind of want to place it like maybe right here and we're just going to kind of place this as well so five times yeah and then we're going to have i posted so i said i so i posted five times a week so it's kind of what it looks like past month that's what i say okay so yeah i say month right here um so i'm gonna go ahead and just change this to month drag this down i'm gonna bring it down over here and it's gonna just make it bigger select it and maybe let's see if we could just do stroke that'd be cool Yeah, we'll do something like that. Um, so now uh, sort of the fun part is adding the animations. And the way we do that is we go to effects and then we go over here to two. The two section has all of these sort of like graphic animations. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the posted. I'm gonna have it slide in up. So I'm gonna have it like literally just slide in up. So it'll come start from the bottom coming up like that. And then the five time I'm gonna have it slide in coming down. Um, so slide let's see slide or top slide down is what it's called so let's go ahead and look for it there you go top slide down select that and then we're gonna also have it slide in up for the last one so this is what it looks like now okay so that looks a little crazy and honestly it's probably because i put in the wrong animation i'm gonna go ahead and just add like the uh the text slide in up right here and that should look a little bit better there we go and then the five times a week's a tad slow so let's go ahead and just make this keyframe a little faster let's see maybe even bring this back as well right on easy money cool so now we're gonna go ahead and add sort of a I kind of want my, I kind of want me to be in the foreground of the posted. Kind of want to come in from behind. So we're gonna go ahead and duplicate the track. And then we're gonna go ahead and key myself out. Now, if you don't have Keeper or if you don't have a Mac, then this won't really work for you. But if you do, uh, buy the plugin and I have like a, a preset made for it that I really, really enjoy. So it'll kind of look like that. Put me in front. Okay, so. The month is behind me. Um, you just simply drag this above the sort of layer of myself. And then if I, the light died, but we're gonna go ahead and continue. So this is what the Keeper plugin does. It literally just keys you out super, super easy. Um, so yeah, so that's essentially what's going on right there. Right on. And then this is kind of sticking out weird. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, cut this off. So it all just kind of happens at once. Right on. Um, so as you guys can see, the cut is very, very harsh. So the way we fix that is we'll go ahead and add overlay transitions later to kind of blend this out. But right now, let's just go ahead and keep moving, adding sort of our effects, texts, whatever on screen. And then we'll go ahead and add the transition overlays. So before we move on, um, I wanna go ahead and just add a shake preset to this. So just add a shake medium to both of them. And also maybe the top one as well. It'll kind of just add a little bit more uh, more of like, it's just more of a floaty sort of smoother vibe, I guess. It just looks better that way. And then let's actually just go ahead and throw on that transition real quick. So I use Premiere Composer to go ahead and grab all of my uh, assets. If you need it, go ahead and just type in Premiere Composer. It'll be down below in the description. Super easy to do. Um, so I'm going to go over here to see our vertical overlays. These are my favorite overlays right now. Sure, we'll use that one. 
and then drag it over. You really only want the actual video, you don't want the sound to your overlays, so just keep that in mind. Um, we're gonna, rotation's fine because it's made for vertical, um, but we're gonna change the scale to 50, and then we're gonna also have the blend mode to soft light, or sorry, screen. There we go. So it looks something like this. Let's go ahead and just render this out real quick. Dope. So that looks actually pretty clean. That's really, really quick. Um, you guys can literally do this super fast. As you guys sort of practice more, you guys are going to get better at these and just kind of have sort of like a few defaults that you set to. You know what I mean? So you have probably three different variations that you like to pick from and like use in your edits. So let's go ahead and just continue the edit, which honestly, I could stop the tutorial right here. And then you can just kind of keep going through the entire edit doing this same exact process just drag and dropping which i'm so tempted to do right now but i'm going to show you guys sort of the entire process let's go ahead and get right back into it so i want um to just kind of have like maybe the let's just have like a fun like crazy emoji right here what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to go to google my trusted browser i guess um and we're going to just type in mind explode emoji And you can honestly get creative with like sort of what you sort of uh, upload into your videos. Save image as, save it. And then that should save as a PNG. And then we're gonna go ahead and import control I. I'm gonna go to my downloads. Save it on my desktop. And then, um, so this is kind of a bad example because this isn't an actual PNG. It's a square, so you gotta honestly just go back and look for another one. It's a JPEG rip. Okay, it's a web.p. There we go. So this is an actual PNG, which is great because it's super clean and it's cut out. But let's say you wanted to add a little bit of extra sauce to this. Um, you can go ahead and add a white border simply by drag and dropping this effect white outline png used for pngs just go ahead and select that and then we'll add that white outline for you and you can double it up make it thicker which i actually like that a lot that's what we're going to go ahead and use and you'll see it just adds the fx over here so we kind of want this to slide in from the the right and then slide out to the right so slide in right slide out right um, again just using alt drag and dropping it should do all of the the movements for you so that looks sick, but it doesn't look as good as it could simply because I'm going to go ahead and resize it, but simply because we don't have a shake. So I'm going to go ahead and add a medium shake to it. Like that looks really, really good. And sometimes with these slide ins, depending on the size of your, um, your PNG, you need to adjust the last keyframe and you just need to like slide it all the way out. It's really, really easy. It's better than doing it yourself. And I just say the same thing we want to do over here. And unfortunately, this is kind of just one of the things you can't avoid with presets simply because you can't account for every single size of um, graphic. And the results are actually crazy. Dope. <laughs> and there's many other ways to animate this. This is just kind of how I would go about doing it. Dope. Now just go ahead, drag and drop the cut or the transition on the cut. So um, that's pretty much all you need to do throughout the entire video. Some other things that I do is I like to copy these transitions and just kind of go through um, and paste them at certain cuts. Um, right there. Sweet. And then also I like to add the transitions at the very end, do half of it. Um, and then cut it and then bring this other half over to the beginning. So it's like a perfect like sort of loop with the transition. You can see that it like does like a perfect loop. Um, it's a little bit laggy simply because of the SSD again and the effects, but it's pretty dope. That's a really dope effect. Now the next step is essentially just adding text to the video. Um, you wanna go ahead and add two layers below your transition layers but above all of your other edits. So right click, add track, 
go ahead add track so that way you have two gap tracks right here that's where we're going to throw our text when we get it and the way we get our text is simply by going over to captions or transcribe and i like to do generate static transcript simply because it's like the most simple one to use and honestly the new one like i just don't really understand too well and honestly just has caused me more headache than than good so essentially once you go ahead and have this done you'll see make sure that it says everything right and if it does then you're good to go if it doesn't then you just go ahead and say this like was a different word like something else like maybe like subscribe or something like that'd be pretty cool um yeah but anyways that's just simply how you change it it'll change it in the transcript for you and then now go ahead hit create captions and for short form content go ahead and steal my settings i like to just do somewhere about like 9 to 12 um at as low as possible on this value and same thing right here zero gap frames lines single and then we go ahead and create captions now you want to go over here because this is the caption track I select all of the text and then you go to your essential graphics with all of these texts selected and you want to go ahead and center the text or depending on where you want to put it just place it where you want so if you want it like a little bit lower you just go ahead and drag that value um, for me I want it centered just like that and I want the font to be Akira expanded and to me that looks pretty good let's go ahead and just made like an italic and for the shadow make it a lot more like spread out so it just looks pretty good and if you want to play around with the colors you can go ahead and do so like a lot of people like to go with this yellow um, low kind of made that a little bit popular or some extra sauce that, like not a lot of people know which um, I honestly didn't know until one of my editing buddies told me was you can go ahead and add a linear or radial gradient to your text and I don't know why I didn't know this because it's such it seems like such a simple thing to know but I just I just didn't know it so what you guys can literally go ahead and do and just add like a cool little maybe like a white gradient um, let's go ahead and just do a little bit a little bit more subtle just like that and it'll apply to all of your text because it's all selected now you just go ahead and play it through ignore this this looks weird um, just keep going okay so it actually looks pretty good but in a couple spots where we added our graphics we don't really need text so let's go ahead and just delete them over here and then make sure it kind of just lines up um, so that and then right here instead of actually having it centered let's just select the text where this sticker is at or the emoji sorry so select all the text where the emoji is at and then let's bring it down let's bring it down just like so just playing with that y value and then uh let's see what it looks like dope it looks a lot better there as opposed to center because center you can't really see it but right there you can actually like read it and see that it's there and then it goes back to center It looks pretty good. Again, my computer is lagging because I'm recording and doing all this stuff. Um, but essentially, you just go ahead and do that. Make sure it's good. Um, one thing with text is sometimes if it doesn't line up with the cut, it'll kind of look weird. So just try to line up the text with each cut in the video. Um, it honestly doesn't have to be perfect, but the better you do and the more time you take, the better it's just gonna look. Um, like it's just gonna separate you from certain editors who don't know to do this because their content honestly looks pretty bad so honestly just do this spend the time to do it because the auto transcribe doesn't get it right all the time or if there's little gaps like this as well just go ahead and fill that in and then at the end fill it in as well because sometimes it'll be cut short or it'll be too long which too long doesn't really matter but just make sure it's fitting where it needs to fit it's good on this cut so it's good to go and then honestly i would say this video is pretty much done but you want to go ahead and add on the transitions a sound effect and the way you do that again you just open up either a sound effect that you have i'm going to go to premiere i'm going to go over here into premiere composer go to my sound effects pack which is actually free it'll be again down in the description as well um, and then i just want to go ahead and add the takeover click for my sound effects and i know you guys can't hear this um but essentially it's just literally a little click that you line up with the transition and then you just go ahead copy paste it 
for all the cuts where you threw a transition. And it really is as simple as that. So you have all of the sound effects done. Um, another thing you can do is you can go and add some music. Now, I don't really wanna add music on this video simply because I like to add music in Instagram so that way I can actually have a trending audio on my reel if that makes sense if it doesn't then literally just go to I'll show you guys real quick here's how you can actually get trending Instagram audios just go to YouTube and just type in Instagram trending songs and then you go ahead and like just go to one of these like I watch this video to get we get how uncertain the future is. Instagram and songs you, you don't here. know. Look at the titles of the songs. So, okay, cool. I want this one. So you just type it in the shadow. Actually, I'll try an example. Um, okay, Mon to Jim. You literally just type in the title. So Corral. And then you just do. Yeah, you just type it in. Whatever. You grab the link, which I know this isn't the right one, but you just literally grab the link of the YouTube video. Go to YouTube to MP3, not MP4. MP4 is video, MP3 is audio. And you just copy and paste your thing in there. And I don't know if it's illegal. If it's illegal, I allegedly did not, or allegedly did this, you know? This is actually not real right here. This is just emulating. And you just go ahead and download it. Um, it'll open a new tab. Just close that tab because sometimes it'll open up to like weird like websites. You don't really want to be on those websites because they might scam you. And you'll see it downloaded right there. And you just go ahead and open it up inside of Premiere Pro. And we'll go ahead and just open it up for tutorial's sake. Open it. We'll drag it off. Oh my gosh, that sounded terrible. We'll drag it onto the timeline. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and cut it to where it kind of just fits. And then it's a little loud, so you can just type in G and then do negative 25. And then if that's still a little bit too loud or if it's too quiet, you can change it. I'm gonna go ahead and just do another negative five. So it'd be negative 30. Dope, so that sounds good. And now back to the text, I low key forgot a couple steps. So let's go ahead and wrap up the text. So select all your text, go to graphics and titles, upgrade caption to graphic, and then you go ahead and just honestly full window this by using like the little squiggle sign, whatever. And then you wanna go ahead and duplicate this. It'll still be highlighted. If it's not, then just select it all again. And then hold option. This is for Mac or alt for windows. And it'll duplicate it. And then you wanna select the top layer, go to your effects, and then you wanna add like a glow sort of effect which is what i like to do you don't have to but honestly i really enjoy the look of it so let's go ahead and make sure we can see what we're selecting and just drag and drop it and you'll see that glow is added so let's go ahead and show you a little bit of a before and after so just like the top layer so this is sort of like before and this is after the glow Honestly, it just looks a lot better, a lot cleaner. It's kind of like that trendy sort of glow style. But it's just a drag and drop and you're good to go. Now, let's go ahead and add some adjustment layers above the actual text layer. So you want to go ahead and add track again above both layers of text. As you can see, let's go ahead and just drag this up so you guys can actually see what's going on here. Um, so we have a blank layer above. We want to go ahead and add an adjustment layer. So go over here. Sometimes if you can't see um, the icon sign, you just got to drag it out over here and then you'll see new item. Adjustment layer, hit OK. Now you want to just drag it onto your timeline. Now I'm going to go ahead and select it and then we're going to go ahead and do a zoom, a smooth zoom in. And then uh, we'll see how it looks. Dope, that actually looks pretty good. Now I don't want it to stay zoomed in for the rest of the clip. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it at the actual cut. And then what you can do is you can do the same process, new item adjustment layer, and then drag and drop the preset, or you can just literally copy and paste this adjustment layer, which is what I do. So just duplicate it. We'll find another spot where we want to zoom in. So just say we want to zoom in like right here. And then I'm just going to cut it. I'm going to stop the zoom in at this cut as well. So. I just watch it. 
So as you can see, as soon as the adjustment layer ends, it zooms out again. It goes back to normal. Now that I wouldn't do that because that actually looks kind of whack. I would probably just keep it for the couple clips till the next transition. Right on. So you can kind of see what's going on. And then after that, you're really just done with the video. You can render it, which is what we're going to do right now. So go to export. And then you want to go ahead and just title the video. Um, now for me, I like to go to video, more, render, maximum depth, maximum render quality. Select both those check boxes and go to VBR two pass. And I like to just throw it three quarters of the way. Typically it's about 38. Then you just go ahead and hit export you're good to go. It'll export the video. Once it's done, you have the video and you just go ahead and upload it to your phone, Google Drive, or you just post it directly to Instagram from your desktop. Anyways, guys, that is the entire breakdown of how I edit reels in sort of the talking head style. If this tutorial was helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.